The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, October 27, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Indiana Pacers vs Toronto Raptors Pascal Siakam's absence has opened up a starting job and plenty of minutes for rookie Scotty Barnes. And the kid is running with the opportunity. His defensive metrics were terrific in college, and the biggest issue for his NBA prospects was his lack of a reliable outside shot. The steals and blocks have yet to materialize through three NBA games, but they should be coming soon. Raptors management seems to always make the right moves come draft time, and that's no different with their choice in Barnes. He and Fred VanVleet should form a nice core for Toronto's future. Saturday was Indiana's first regular season home game with a capacity crowd since the hiatus during the 2019-20 season due to COVID-19. A high-intensity defensive effort on Saturday saw Indiana limit Miami to just 35 of 91 shooting from the floor and 9 of 33 from three-point range. It marked a dramatic turnaround from the Pacers' first two games. The Pacers will make their bread this season on the defensive end, since they lack the dynamic scoring and three-point shooting of most of their counterparts. It's a very young season, so it remains to be seen just how good this Indiana squad can be. Our first betting advice is to pick Indiana Pacers minus 1.5 on the season, Toronto stands 27th in scoring offense as they put up an average of 100.2 points per game this season. The Raptors are first in rebounding with 52.8 boards a night, while they are 27th by dishing out an average of 20 assists a night. Toronto stands fourth in scoring defense as they allow an average of 98.8 points a night. Aga Nunabi leads the team with an average of 17.5 points plus 6.5 rebounds per game. Scotty Barnes, 16.8 points, 8.5 rebounds, Fred VanVleet, 14.5 points, 8.8 .8 assists, Gary Trent Jr., 14 points, and Precious Achiua, 10.5 points, 11.3 rebounds, are averaging in double figures on the year. Kem Birch, Goran Dragic, Spy Mikhailiuk, Chris Boucher, Delano Banton and Isaac Bonga are all looked at to help Nick Nurse's squad. The Raptors are 30th in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 40% from the floor as a team. Toronto stands 25th by knocking down 10 three-pointers a night, while they are 28th in three-point field goal percentage as they sink 29.4% of their attempts on the season. Pascal Siakam remains out after surgery to repair a torn labrum back in June and is expected to be out until mid to late November. Los Angeles Lakers vs Oklahoma City Thunder Los Angeles is averaging 116.3 points per game. They scored 121 points in their win over Memphis, making 53.6% of their field goals and 53.3% of their three-pointers. Carmelo Anthony led the way for the Lakers with 28 points and 3 rebounds. Anthony Davis had 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 blocks, while Lebron James finished with 19 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. Los Angeles has struggled defensively, giving up 118 points per game. They gave up 121 points in their last game and will need to play better if they want to get the win. Oklahoma City is averaging 94.5 points per game. They scored 103 points in their loss Saturday to Philadelphia, making 47.6% of their field goals and 25.8% of their three-pointers. Shai Gilgis Alexander led the way for Oklahoma City with 29 points, 6 rebounds, and 8 assists. Josh Giddy had 19 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, and 4 steals, while Lugan Stort finished with 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists for the Thunder. Oklahoma City has struggled defensively, giving up 113 points per game. They gave up 106 points in their last game, a 106-98 loss to Golden State Tuesday, and will need to do a better job if they want to win this game. 
Our first betting advice is to pick Los Angeles Lakers minus 8. Even if LeBron James doesn't play, the veteran presence of the Lakers pretty much ensures the Thunder will have to put them away with four complete quarters of work. Nothing is going to come easy. The defense for the Lakers as currently constructed is a bit of a concern with opponents averaging 118 points per game against them. They're giving up a lot of buckets, and teams are finding a way to at least keep games close with them. It took last-minute heroics for them to beat both the San Antonio Spurs and Memphis Grizzlies. Oklahoma City has the second-worst scoring offense in the league, and the team is shooting a sad 40.9% from the floor. Nothing good is happening on the scoring end for the Thunder with limited playmakers. Meanwhile, the Lakers have plenty on their end, even when James isn't on the court. Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook both stepped up for 30-plus points in the team's win over San Antonio. Even Malik Monk chipped in 17 points and a clutch three-pointer in the fourth quarter of that game. Our second betting advice is to pick over 220.5. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Milwaukee Bucks. Minnesota is averaging 106 points per game. They scored 98 points in their last game, making 34.4% of their field goals and 30% of their three-pointers. Carl Anthony Towns led Minnesota with 32 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 assists. Anthony Edwards finished with 28 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists, while Patrick Beaverly added 13 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. Minnesota has played well defensively, giving up 100.6 points per game. They gave up 107 points in their last game and will need to keep playing well on defense if they want to beat the Bucks. Milwaukee is averaging 115.5 points per game. They scored 119 points in their last game, making 48.2% of their field goals and 34.4% of their three-pointers. Jonas Antetokounmpo led the way for Milwaukee with 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists. Chris Middleton finished with 27 points, 5 rebounds, and 7 assists, while Grayson Allen added 19 points and 4 rebounds for the Bucks. Milwaukee has struggled defensively, giving up 115.2 points per game. They gave up 109 points in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to get the win. Our first betting advice is to pick Milwaukee Bucks minus 6. Allen has been a feel-good story in Milwaukee. The former Duke star struggled to find his way in the NBA, but has earned a spot in the starting lineup thanks to his defensive intensity and ability to knock down shots. Allen averaged a career-high 10.6 points per game as a member of the Memphis Grizzlies in 2020-21 and is a career 37.7% shooter from beyond the arc. With Dante Vincenzo out with an injury, the Bucks guard has stepped up and scored in double digits in all four games with his new team. Our second betting advice is to pick over 228. 